Welcome to Christian Faith Ministries, where Drs. Greg and Deidre Thomas are the pastors. As we embrace the future together with so many uncertainties, we are here to help you survive and thrive during this pandemic and beyond. Join us today as we declare war on poverty and sickness. Well, praise the Lord, beloved of God. We are so excited to uh, be able to come t uh, to you this afternoon, tonight, <laughs> this morning, wherever you find yourself in the world uh, with the word of life. I need to calm down. We are just so excited and so blessed by what it is that God is uh, is speaking in the in, in, in the body. Amen. Uh, we're looking at uh, those who uh, served in leadership uh, positions, uh, Moses and Esther, as, as two examples. Amen. And we're going to look at another person, uh, and his name is Peter, uh, uh, who was a disciple of Jesus Christ and then uh, moved into the... Uh, uh, the, in, in, into the capacity of functioning uh, as an apostle, uh, and so well, tonight we're looking at uh, serving, uh, serving the Lord, and and in the qualifications of, of of one who will serve in the house of the Lord, those who will shepherd, those who serve will serve as uh, as as pastors, as as as, as leaders, representing a God uh, over his uh, his people, and so our scripture reference tonight is a uh, first uh, peter 5 uh, 1 through uh, 14 and it, it it speaks about the shepherds the elders who are among you uh peter is e exhorting um uh, he says i who am a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of christ and also a partaker of the glory that will be revealed he gives instructions to uh, the people that he's 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 speaking to, he's he's speaking to the, el the el leadership. He's speaking to the elders that are among among the people, and uh, he gives uh, so he, he he makes statements here. He says, number one, our responsibility is to shepherd the flock of God uh, that is among us, uh, serving as overseers. Amen. Not as not by compulsion, but willingly. Not for dishonest gain, uh, but uh, but 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 eagerly. Um, not being as lords uh, over those entrusted to you, but being examples uh, to the flock. Uh, and when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not that does not fade away. And I'm reading uh, specifically First Peter five uh, one through four. So he's he's he, the church uh, when this was written, you, the, the church was uh, manifested uh, the, on the day of Pentecost when five thousand plus persons were, were saved when the Holy Spirit uh, showed up. And then there needed to be oversight. There needed to be individuals who would function uh, in the role as an elder, as one uh, who, who would lead the people and shepherd and shepherd the people. And there are qualifications, amen, uh, that uh, uh, Peter uh, uh, gave, amen. He gave instructions to those. And so uh, it behaves us all, amen, because it's written in the, in the Bible, uh, amen, uh, in, in 1 Peter chapter 5. And 5 is the number of grace. And can I tell you, it's the grace of God, uh, amen, the call of God and the grace of God upon our lives to be able to oversee to be able to shepherd uh, God's people in the manner which he has uh, a, 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 a scribed amen and so he he says uh he says he's, he's serving, 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 and so we see we saw with Moses. Moses served God, Amen. Uh, and and we see Esther. She served God in terms of the what it was that she made a decision uh, to do for on behalf of her people. And so serving, Amen, in leadership is serving God, uh, uh, serving the people uh, uh, because of the call of God, the grace of God, and the anointing of God, and following His in in. Instructions, and she says, uh, serving as those who oversee not over my people, but over uh, God's people. And so, when we look at the passage of scripture, the the the, 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 the scriptures here. Uh, it says serving as overseers. And so, you know, those who serve in the house of God, you know, uh, elders, uh, those in the fivefold ministry, we have to serve above reproach. We must have a good, we must have a good character and a, repu and a reputation. Now we praise God, hallelujah, for being born again. We praise God that, that he, he pulled us out of the, out, out from the pit of hell. Do you understand what I'm saying? And knowing him and growing in him, transformation uh, has shown, and then uh, standing in 
in receivership of the call of God. Can't nobody call you into the fivefold ministry. You, we can't call ourselves. Amen. It's it's a clear uh, acknowledgement of God Himself calling into the fivefold ministry. And so, gotta be above reproach. Why? Because we represent God. Amen. Uh, we have, must have a good character and a good reputation. You can't be a womanizer as an apostle, as a as a prophet, as a pastor, as a teacher, as an evangelist. A, a good character. You, a good character. Why? Because we represent Christ and because the people that we're representing Christ to, they're not our people. They belong to God. It must be a husband of, of one of a husband of one wife. Now what's inferred here is a man and a woman. No other such cases uh, will God it, 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 it's, it's a uh, diabolical in the eyesight of God. I'm not going there, but a husband, which is a man, a one wife, which is a woman, not having your boo on the side. Come on. Uh, when we look at Paul's life, uh, 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 Peter's life, which we will, uh, God, he, he, he went through, a, he went, he was transformed. Uh, amen. And God met him in his life in every stage where he was. And yet God, he, the call of God was still upon him. Uh, he, uh, and God called him. Amen. Uh, and there was a humility that took place in Paul's life that he would be able to pen the passages of scripture that we're reading through uh, even now. So with their, their qualities, amen, above a reproach, uh, a husband of uh, 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 one wife, amen, sober-minded, uh, level-headed with clear thinking. And so being sober-minded means you must spend time reading the Word. You must spend time uh, in, in the secret place of the Most High to be able to accomplish, be, and do what God has called. And then it's, it talks about self-control. An, an overseer, one who's going to pastor, if you will, uh, amen, uh, 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 over God's people, uh, it got, gotta be level-headed and, and, and it would clear, with clear thinking. We must make sure that our doctrine is sound doctrine. <clears throat> <clears throat> self-control, amen, over, over, we must have, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, self-control over, uh, over our emotions and, and, and our desires, listen, we, we have the responsibility of walking circumspectly before God, before God Almighty, amen, we're to be an example to the flock, we're to be an example representing Christ in, in the earth, uh, do you understand, amen, we cannot be callous in our conversations, and, and because he's given us oversight, that means that we function literally as a role model for the people that we, that we shepherd, that, that, that we oversee, and so these qualifications must be met, must be seen, we cannot fake it to make it, because nothing goes unseen in the eyesight of Almighty God, so we must be sober-minded, meaning that uh, we cannot be wishy-washy and, and, and double-minded, we can't can't have our thoughts uh, functioning in the flesh or functioning from the world's position, but it must be uh, functioning according to the word of God. Amen. Uh, we must have uh, self-control, sober-minded, self-controlled. Uh, amen. As an overseer, as a pastor, one in a five-fold ministry, we should have uh, 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 control over our emotions. Now listen, this is a process. We're going to talk about Peter's life next week, but this is a process. Uh, this is a process of praising God that we're born again, but those who are in leadership over God's over God's people, attending to God's flock, then the we these qualifications uh, should be um, should be in our life. We're not trying to get these things, but they should be in our lives. Uh, we should know about them and whatever issues and er errors and areas that we have in our life that does not. Uh, is not congruent to what the qualifications that set here, then we need to seek the face of God. Amen. We must walk in humility before God. We must walk with a clean state slate uh, uh, before God. We must honor God. Amen. Because we are God's representative uh, uh, in the earth to his people. And so self-control, sober-minded, husband of one wife, above above reproach. Amen. Must be respectable. Amen. Uh, we must be respectable. Amen. Worthy uh, 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 of respect. We must be uh, hospitable. 
hospitable also. We should be welcoming. <laughs> we must be welcoming to the people. Amen. The, the folks that come into the house, good morning. We're so glad to see you. Uh, we must be welcoming. We must be literally a people person because Jesus is a people person. When he was in the earth, he was a people person and he ministered to the people. Amen. Uh, gotta be able to teach. Now, gotta be. You gotta be. You, you gotta be. You gotta be. You gotta be able to, to teach. I didn't make the qualifications. God made the qualifications. You must have the ability to instruct others in matters of faith. You must have the ability to instruct others in the word. Not what you think, but what does the word say? You must spend time, amen, because God doesn't want his people, amen, to believe lies or, or be partakers of false doctrine or, or just ignorance. So do you understand what God says? This is serious business, amen, that he's in, giving instruction to Amen. Those who oversee uh, in the house, in the house of the Lord, we cannot be a drunkard. Uh, uh, you not be given uh, to, to to excessive uh, 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 drinking. You. Hmm, uh, <laughs> Or a little, you know, smoking, you know, weed and all of that kind of stuff. That should not be. God have mercy upon you. Amen. Uh, get this, uh, pray the, uh, speak deliverance in your life. Amen. Uh, uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, not, not violent. You shouldn't be prone to violence or aggression. You shouldn't be beating your wife or beating your, or beating your, 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 your husband or, or just uh, abusing your children as a, as a punching bag. It should not be, we should not be a lover of money, a lover of money, amen. We should not be a lover of money, an overseer, you know, a person called, amen, should not be driven by greed or material wealth. So, because if we're, if we're driven by greed and material wealth, wealth, that we will con the people. We, we will be con artists in terms of how to manipulate uh, money and uh, in, in, in things like uh, like that out from out of the people. That's an abomination uh, because you're dealing with God's, God's people and you, we know that God sees and God knows everything. Uh, uh, not taking the, the, the money that's collected in the church and going to the racetracks on behalf of the church to get the money, uh, you know, to, to, to increase the money or going into the casinos. I'm talking to leadership in the house, amen? And then the Bible says that we've got uh, we've got to be able to manage our household well. An overseer, those in the five-fold ministry of pastors, those that oversee the flock of God, amen? Uh, amen? We, we, we should demonstrate, uh, we should have a positive uh, uh, attitude and a, we should have a good reputation among those outside the church. Uh, I've heard stories uh, down through the years, amen, of, of uh, situations where uh, uh, people were compromised in, in thinking they're going to see uh, their uh, their pastor, you know, about the particular situation. Let me tell you something. Don't you be stupid. Do you understand? Uh, if you have issues or problems or challenges, need prayer, uh, you, you're, not, you're not to go into the office uh, if you are a, a, a married woman or a single woman with a man without having somebody right there with you uh, or with the door being open that way by the secretary I'm just saying oh prophet Deidre you know that's my pastor yes it is but see we don't give no place we gonna give no place to the devil and so you're foolish if you allow yourself uh, to be there and I'm saying this to the men of God and the women of God you're stupid too if this is something that that you do because you're the pastor and because you're above reproach well why would you put yourself in a place of, of temptation uh, and with the door closed uh, you know we're not ignorant to Satan's devices Selah I'm saying that Selah again hear the spirit of the Lord amen uh, manage your household well that your your reputation your thought uh, your you, you, you have a uh, people they think good look good of you that you your man or your woman in, in your community and representing God and 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 then there's a, that respect that comes uh, that comes with uh, the posture uh, the who it is that you are uh, in, in, in representing Christ in the church do you understand among the among the heathen? Among the government, uh, uh, it, you know, in in the various fields, because you're representing you're representing God, Amen. And because you're in a position of leadership, Amen. By the grace of God, with the anointing of God, to be able to shepherd God's 
people in the right way. And then, uh, not by compulsion. Uh, you know, we, 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 we're not looking to, you know, to, man, there's just so many games that can be played here. But uh, not by com com compulsion, uh, meaning that somebody made you, you know, take over that. And, and you know that you can't, you, you're not ready for it. That, that you're upset that, you know, you didn't get what you wanted to get. I, that's, that's, that's crazy, but you know what the Holy Spirit is, is talking about, amen? That when well, you were forced into a position and you really don't feel qualified. Well, you have a mouth, amen? You have knees. Bend your knees to the Lord, amen? And get peace on the inside of it and get uh, a word from the Lord as it pertains to if it is really your time to be moved in this in, into this realm of into this place when you're not ready or that you're not called to do to to, to do so in the name of Jesus uh, amen not by con con compulsion that somebody made you do it and you didn't really want to do it amen but it's done willingly I mean that's the only way we can serve God that we will to do it I will serve the Lord I will I will bless the Lord by serving and I will bless the Lord I will serve the Lord according to his precepts that's why uh, it that's why why we're preaching this message today and then uh, the bible says and when the chief shepherd appears now peter is giving instruction here amen and then peter is also saying listen there's a point in time that when when the chief shepherd appears you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away and so you know, in in shepherding and in, in pastoring, you know, in dealing with God's people, uh, you know, it can be challenging. Uh, it can be uh, frustrating. Uh, you know, it, it it can you can wonder if you're really uh, born again. Uh, you can uh, uh, maybe want to slap some people down. You may be enticed in a whole lot of ways, but praise God that in terms of uh, uh, in terms of people uh, serving and overseeing God's people, He's given us instructions uh, through uh, uh, through Peter. Amen. And so we want to look at the last statement that uh, that Peter says. Amen. I'm just going to run through it. The the the, 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 we, the shepherd the the flock of God which is among you, serving as overseers. We gotta possess the, these qualities above reproach, a husband of one wife, married and committed, a sober-minded, self-control, respectable, hospitable. We've got to be able to teach, not a drunkard, glory to God, not violent, <laughs> not quarrelsome, glory, not a lover of money, that we manage our households well, uh, amen, uh, well thought of by outsiders, not by compulsion, Amen. And and then he says, uh, not for this dishonest gain, nor as being lords. And then after all of that, the Bible says, and when, and when. So all of us, amen, we should have an expectation of the when, because the Bible says here, and when the chief shepherd appears. And so when the sheep, the chief, <laughs> And when the chief shepherd appears, and when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive. And so what I'm saying, in time, when placed in the office, there's something that is going to happen in time that we must be consciously aware of right now. And that as we walk to that point in time, when the chief shepherd appears, there's something that we're going to receive. This is what Peter was saying. And what we're going to receive is the crown of glory that does not fade away. A crown? A crown? Yes. The songwriter, you know, I remember when I was younger, I, I uh, will wear a crown. A, a, a crown, and it's called a, a crown of glory. Why? Because we fulfilled what Peter said in 1 Peter 5, 2 through 4. Amen. It takes the grace of God to do it. Amen. To feed the flock of God. Amen. Taking the oversight 
not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy money, uh, uh, but of a ready mind. Ha, ah, ready mind right now. Those of you that are fearful, of those of you that are functioning in that, that position right now and you're fearful because of all of this and all of that, stay focused, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, stay in that word, st uh, stay in the secret place in the, in the closet, uh, it, praying before the Lord, glory to God, and it is he that is going to help you to fulfill the plan and purpose and the assignment that he's given you right now. Glory to God. Honor him in these steps that we've just given. Amen. Because there's something that God is uh, wanting uh, to, uh, uh, to, to release. Amen. To those persons, to every person who feeds the flock of God. Amen. In leadership, the pastors, the apostles, the prophets, evangelists, teachers, ministers, and every person carrying out the great commission. Are you hearing me? Amen. With meeting up with Jezebel, meeting up with Korah. Are you hearing me, somebody? Glory to God. But stand, and above all, stand in that five-fold ministry call. Amen. He said, listen, there's something that we're going to receive. Amen. A crown, and it's called a crown of glory. Amen. For every one of God's servants preaching the gospel to each, 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 each creature going into, into all the world. Amen. Oh, God, I think I'm just a little bit full going. Uh, just, I just hear that song in my uh, charge to keep I have and a God to glorify. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a supernatural office. Are oh, you hearing me? It takes the supernatural power. It takes the supernatural presence of God. It takes the supernatural anointing of Almighty God. It takes the supernatural God call of God upon our lives. Amen. To to be and fulfill what it is he's called us to be in the fivefold ministry. And he says, uh, talks about a crown that we will receive. A hallelujah. Amen. 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 And so anything and everything that would seek to come up against our fulfilling that which God has ascribed for us uh, to, to, to manifest in the earth, as a pastor, as an evangelist, as, a, as an apostle, as a prophet, as a teacher, amen, we have the word of God. That means that we, uh, we, we look beyond, we look up and we see, amen, God. We look up and we see, amen, that in time he has set his will that we are called to do the work of the ministry. We are called to oversee the flock of God. Hallelujah. And he says, listen, I've got a reward for you. It's called the crown of glory. Woo! Glory to God. It's the crown for every person who feeds the flock. It's the crown. Amen. It's the crown of glory. Amen. And so that's why we bow our knee to the Lordship of Jesus Christ for what it is that he has accomplished. Amen. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, coming into the earth, uh, being in the earth, ministering to the earth, become uh, uh, and ascending into the heavens and sprinkling his own blood over the mercy seat. Glory to God that we right here and right now would be able to preach the gospel to leaders. Uh, uh, amen. In the body of Christ and to the people of God. Amen. And I'm telling you, there is a crown. There is a crown. We honor God. We follow uh, uh, his, his precepts. We honor his word. Amen. But there's a crown. Amen. That every Every one of God's servants preaching the gospel, amen, to every creature is to receive. And so we, we, we take the assignment and we go into all the world and we preach the gospel to every creature in the name of Jesus. We pastor in the name of Jesus under the anointing. We are apostles in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are uh, pastors in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me, somebody, to the glory of God? in the earth, representing him well, in the earth, in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is the crown I'm fighting for personally. This is the crown that I want to receive. Amen. From my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the crown I want to be able to uh, bend my knee before. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus that I've served him well, no matter what the situations or the circumstances is that I, amen, fulfilled, amen, the will of God in the earth. And so that my my heart even now is rejoicing. Amen. I thank God for this, be able to shepherd God's people. 
I bless God, hallelujah, amen, that he says there's a crown, amen, I bless him for his instruction, he didn't say it would be easy, nobody told me uh, it, it would be easy, but I just don't believe he brought me this far to leave me, I release that to you, men and women of God this morning, amen, shepherd well, pastor well, apostle, be that apostle, amen, and, and that teacher, and, 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 and that, if you understand what I'm saying, to the glory of God because there is a crown of glory awaiting us in Jesus name. This has been Prophet Deidre Thomas. Hallelujah. I'm so blessed to be able to have the privilege to break the bread of life, to, to, to bring the word of life in Jesus name. Be re-energized by the Holy Spirit of God. Anointing of God fall upon you in the name of Jesus. Get up, look up, amen, in Jesus name and move forward expeditiously in the assignment that God has given unto you. The spirit of greatness is upon you. The seed of greatness lives in you. Go forth. Hallelujah. Meet the qualifications. God's hand is upon you for good. The angels are, are rooting for you. Hallelujah. And we're singing and we're praying for you too. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Welcome to the IMLACA Basic Boot Camp. You may be asking the question, what does IMLACA stand for? IMLACA is the abbreviation for International Marketplace Leaders and Chaplaincy Academy. The purpose of launching IMLACA is because the world as we've known it is changing rapidly daily. When the coronavirus pandemic hit in 2019, the entire world shifted from an industrial way of doing things in the marketplace to a digital way. However, one thing that has not changed and will never change is people are suffering and the need for marketplace ministry leaders in business, government, and the church that are equipped, trained, and released as ordained men and women of God as chaplains around the world. This academy was created with you in mind. Yes, you. You've always wanted to be used by God, to be a servant leader in the marketplace, to pray for the sick, perform weddings, christenings, officiate over funerals, and much more. I believe our God has handpicked you for the IMLACA. This course is online, open book, self-paced, self-study, and self-test. Upon completion, you will participate and receive the following. 1. Certificate of Completion 2. You'll participate in an online or in-person ordination and graduation ceremony. By that time, you'll receive your ordination and graduation certificates, signet ring, chaplaincy badge, and lapel pin, digitally or by express mail. You've been listening to Christian Faith Ministries broadcast, where Drs. Greg and Deidre Thomas are the pastors. If you've been blessed and desire to give, you need prayer, or simply want more information about upcoming events or training, go to cfmnola.org.